That's called the triple threat position. See? You take it like that, you come up, lay up. Come back this way, you can do this. That's how you shoot. And you hold him out like that. See, I know this because I've been watching Michael Jordan my entire life. I know every move he's gonna make before he even makes the move. I even know the look he gets in his eyes before he's about to take you to the hole. Like this, look. <laughs> See that? Yeah, I'll show you some more. Look, watch this. This lady and watch this. <laughs> look at him. He's obsessed. I'm almost sorry I got him that fantasy camp present. Why? Why? Because for the last six months, he's been drawing diagrams, reading books, convincing himself that he can beat Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. Do you really think he can beat Michael Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh. You laugh. You laugh. It's not going to be so funny when I'm taking Mr. Jordan, boom, like that. Babe, what if he blocks your shot? <laughs> Why would you even say that? such negative energy to throw out. You know what? If he does block my shot, all I do, grandson, is put one of your diapers inside his North Carolina shorts, and he'll think it's him, and then he won't be able to concentrate. Come on, let's go change the diaper. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why am I so scared? Because I'm coming for you, Mike. That's why you're scared. I know why you wake up in the middle of the night with that chill going up your spine. That's me. I'm coming for you. I'm going to implement my secret spin move Ooh. and take you to the hoop. To the hoop, Mr. Jordan. To the hoop. The hoop. Come in. Hey, Doc, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure thing, son. What's on your mind? That's no big deal. I'm just really not sure I want to be a father anymore. Hear that, Mike? <laughs> You don't want to be a father. If you don't want to be a father, just stop. <laughs> cool, thanks, Dad. I knew you'd understand. Sure My dad, boy. Get your butt back in here. You knew it wasn't that easy. What are you talking about? You don't want to be a father. Anymore? It's too hard, Dad. The baby was crying at two in the morning, and I didn't know what to do, and I was sleepy. <laughs> so what did Vanessa say? She slept all the way through it. How is that possible? Because she's tired. Try pushing this out your behind and see how sleepy you are. Okay. <laughs> Junior! Huh? Come here. I wasn't being literal. Oh. How can... You see this man right here? Star Space Jam? Junior, this is Michael Jeffrey Jordan. He is the greatest basketball player to ever play the game. He's the ultimate winner. But do you know that he got cut in high school? Ooh, I hope it won one of those paper cuts. Imagine you trying to put on your tiny whiteies and you got a little cut right at the end of your finger, right up in there. You trying to put your drawers on. Mm, 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 mm. I feel bad for him. Oh, what's that? It came from over there. Where? No, it came from over. Oh, well. It wasn't a paper cut. He got cut from his high school basketball team, but that didn't stop him. And neither should it stop you. So what should I do? You need to adopt a winning attitude, son. OK, take me, Fletcher. Mm -hmm. Most people wouldn't think that I could beat this man one-on-one -on -one in a game of basketball. Because you can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you bring such negativity into the room? You got See? little calves, Dad. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm quick. No, you're not. You, you have little calves, and, and you're old. <laughs> You know what? I'm not going to let you affect my dream, OK? Now, I'm going to Vegas, and I'm going to institute my secret spin move, and I'm going to take Mr. Jordan to the hoop, OK? Let me show you. You be Jordan, all right? Now, I want you to try to play defense on me. Wait! Wait, OK? You have to shift 40% of your body weight to your right foot, just like Mr. Jordan does. And then you need to stick that hand out like that over there, and then you need to cross your eyes and stick your tongue out. Okay, now, wait, wait, wait. You gotta let me get past you. That's what D stands for. Okay. Don't do nothing. Okay, now do it again. Cross your eyes, hey, look! Hey. Ah! Just like that. <laughs> See, and it's at that moment that 40% of his body weight will be on the right ball of his foot. And, and that's, that's when I spin to my left and take him to the hoop.
Well, I rest my case. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Kyle is right. I ran some tests, and it would be physically impossible for Mr. Jordan to beat Mr. Yeah. Kyle. There's you see. no way he can beat you, Daddy. Thank yeah. you, baby. That move is foolproof. It is foolproof. He's unstoppable. Oh, force of nature. Mm -hmm. You're ready for it. Totally prepared, and mentally. You'll we'll have your wife and kids there cheering you on. And my wife and my kids will be mm -hmm. at my side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> what, what just happened? Well, uh, when? Yesterday? No. Oh, uh, when we were sitting right there? Um, oh, you agreed that your wife and kids would come with you to Vegas and cheer you on. Gee, I can't have it. I gotta concentrate on the task at hand. You think Michael Jordan's wife is gonna be there? If she wants to be. True. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, Jay. What? I'll make a little deal with you. You all can come to Vegas if you can knock this ball out of my hand. Wait! Give us a deal. No, I had to be in a triple threat position and you smelled that 40% of your body weight on the right ball of your foot! <laughs> Women, they don't understand how the game is played. <laughs> now, I'm sure you all heard that your mother tricked me into letting you come with me to Vegas with me. Wait! <laughs> Oh, that's great. I love Vegas. We can't go, honey. We can't? Of course not. The baby has to get his shots. Well, I thought that maybe we, we could... We can't go. Yeah, but see, as the head of the we house... We can't go. Yeah, but as the man... We can't go! <laughs> Look, we can't go, all right? So that's our basket. Too bad. We'll just try to have fun without you. I know I will. <laughs> You're not gonna gamble, are you? Why would you say that to me, Claire? Why would you just say that out of the clear blue sky? Jeez, take it easy. Don't you tell me to take it easy, okay? Do I look like a car shop to you? Do I look like a high roller? Do I look like Minnesota fetch? Shut up, Junior. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Well, we're just talking about our trip to Las Vegas. You mean Las Vegas, the city of lost souls? Now, Mr. Kyle, I know you're not going to lead your family into the path of temptation. I'd love to see the temptations. I've got sunshine. <laughs> Mr. Kyle, now, Vegas is evil. It'll vex your spirit. It's, it's nothing more than a harlot in a neon blouse, a chocolate skirt, licorice stockings, and gun drop shoes. It's, it's evil, okay? Uh, Mr. Mr. Kyle, I beseeched you. Don't beseech me. I did. You beseeched me? I just did. Beseeched it? Beseeched it. Well, we're going. <laughs> anyway. Gosh. Fine. Claire, let me appeal directly to you. I implore that you stay out of that vile pit in the desert, that swamp of degradation and wickedness. Tony, come here. Do you realize what's in Vegas? Yes, whores and liquor. No, there's wedding chapels. We could get married. Oh, of course. That way we could finally do it. No guilt. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I am for this trip. Great! Because you can't go. <laughs> I am so excited about our mm -hmm, trip. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 baby. You know I got to abstain. Got to abstain, okay? That's why I didn't want to bring you with me to Vegas, because you know how hard it is for you to keep them hands off of me. I promise you, I won't bother you at all. Thank you. Mom and Dad, I'm not going to Vegas. Oh, heaven. Why not? You see, you're talking about a forced separation between me and Katie, and we can't bear it. Well, you're going to have to man up, Mumford, okay? <laughs> this is only a couple of days. It may seem like a couple of days to a wizened old pine nut like you, but to someone as young as I, it's an eternity. No, wait a minute, baby. It may not be such a bad idea to take Franklin along. Kids often do better if they bring a friend. Yeah, well, who's going to pay for his trip? I can cover my expenses by simply booking a speaking engagement at Hoover Dam. I'll do a chapter on my book about hydroelectronics. And <laughs> I'm something of a celebrity among the damn things. Franklin. No, no, Mrs. Kyle. That's what they're called. D-A-M. Damn fools. They're wacky about dams. Please, Daddy. No. Oh, please, Mr. Kyle. I'll do anything. Anything? All right, step over here. 
Uh -oh. I'll tell you what, Mr. Mumford. I'll let you come to Vegas with us if you could knock this ball out of my... Hey, wait, wait! I wasn't ready yet. Deal's a deal, Daddy. How did you do that? These new shoes I invented. What is it? Is it a sneaker? They're not just sneakers. Well, are they a sandal? They're not just sandals. Well, what the heck is it? I call them snandals. Snandals? And I even made a jingle to go with it. My snandals. If I can wear my snandals. If I can wear my snandals. Anywho. You need to work on that jingle. And I'm gonna go work on my dribble. Come on, Franklin, let's go get some ice cream. Uh, Franklin, can I talk to you for a sec? I'll join you in a moment, my love. <laughs> yes, Mr. Kyle? I got a question for you. How much you know about blackjack? Did you say blackjack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's the scandal. Slot machine. Hey, hey, easy, easy, easy. I'm just looking. Hey, look, there's Junior and Tony. What kind of foolishness? Hi, guys. Well, what the hell are you two doing here? Well, Tony said he was coming out here to save you all, so I thought I'd help him because we're family. Speaking of family, did you leave your girlfriend and your baby at home by themselves? No, they're with their parents. Vanessa was fine with it. Besides, Junior Junior doesn't need me to get his shots. I'm just going to faint anyway. <laughs> that is so selfish and irresponsible. Come here. You are going back on the first plane to Connecticut tomorrow morning. It's time for you to face your father's responsibility and start acting like an adult. Okay, Dad. Ooh, a magician! <laughs> well, forget that because you're not gonna go see him. You're not supposed to be here and you're not gonna have fun while you're here. But, Dad, he's not just any magician. It's Harry Blacktop Jackson. Who's that? I have no idea. Boy, forget about it, okay? You're not going. Sorry, Junior. Sounds like the only magician you're gonna be seeing is Harry, who don't leave the roomy. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, listen, I guess we're gonna have to get an extra room for Tony here. Oh, no, thanks, Mrs. Kyle. I mean, but I wouldn't stay here in Sodom and Gomorrah. I've got a room downtown at the Christian Hostel with uh, good, decent people. Fine, suit yourself, Tony. Hey, Claire, maybe we can uh, go to uh, services tonight. <laughs> That sounds like a great idea, Tony. I'll meet you later. What's all the damn winking about? Oh, we're allergic to sin, Mr. Kyle. <laughs> Bye. So come on, forget them, baby. Let's go get changed and have some fun. No, 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 no fun for me, OK? I got to go prepare for the one-on-one -on -one with Jordan. I got to go check in first. Oh, uh, well, could I go see the magician if Mom came with me? Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm going to the spot, okay? And you are gonna babysit Katie. If you won't take care of your own kids, you can take care of mine. Oh, why can't Franklin watch her? Can we just check in, please? Yes, good idea. Let's check in. We'll all just check in, Jay. <laughs> Checking into the fantasy camp. All right, welcome. What is your name? My name's Michael. Jordan, where? Where? Michael, George, Michael? <laughs> Second babe, you see. I'm checking in. Bob Slobodan Popovich. Okay, Slobodan Popovich. Yep, I have you right here. Welcome to senior flight school. Hey, that wasn't Michael Jordan. Oh, sorry. My bags. Mr. Slobodan Popovich, you will be playing Mr. Jordan tomorrow at 1 p.m. <sighs> then tomorrow at 1. All 73 people of my home country will celebrate my victory at Toshka's house. Okay. <laughs> Look, Wayne Newton. Yeah, right. You think I'm gonna fall for that one? You can fool me once, shame on you. You should fool me twice, uh, then shame on uh, me. But if you fool me three times, well then... <laughs> probably needed to be fooled. <laughs> but you're not gonna fool me. 
Because that man right there is not Wayne Newton. Could be. Yeah, but you're not. Look, I'm not going to argue with yes, you. Yes, you are. It's no. too late now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I want to argue. No, I don't want to argue. I do. We are. I'm arguing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you're Wayne Newton, then why don't you sing his signature song, Donkey Chains? <laughs> I mean, you're Donkey Chains. Donkey Chains? Donkey Chains. You know, like the ring that... <laughs> you know, donkey Chains. The thing to hold the donkey to the, to the post. Shane, Shane. Yeah. Uh, you're not referring to the song Donkey Shane, are you? Donkey Shane? Does it even make it? What does that mean in English? <laughs> well, uh, re refresh my memory here. Uh, give me a little of the lyric of Donkey Chains. <laughs> donkey Chains. <laughs> darling, Donkey Chains. Thank you for all the boys in pain. <laughs> Boys in Pain? What kind of sex song is that? Hey, you wrote it. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. Listen, the real lyric goes, Donkey Shane, darling, Donkey Shane, thank you for all the joy and pain. Look, obviously, you're not Wayne Newton. You're a good impersonator. I mean, you got that down. But I know my Wayne Newton. You're not Wayne Newton. Checking in, Mr. Newton? Yes, you're am. <laughs> Wonderful. The Donkashane suite is ready to go. Thank you. <laughs> it's donkey change. You might want to put that down on your side. The donkey change suite. Anywho, uh, what can I do for you, sir? Michael Kyle checking into Fantasy Camp. Okay, Kyle. Kyle. K Y L E. Kyle. Don't have your name here, sir. Oh, it better be there, my friend. <laughs> you better check a little harder, dig a little deeper into the database. Uh, but I don't have any Kyles at all. Don't mess with me, man. <laughs> I've come all the way from Connecticut. I'll, I'll check something else. You do that. You know, I'm beginning to think that Mr. Jordan is trying to hide from me. Go the way. Mr. Kyle, I, I do have you here. You are signed up. Thank God. Uh, for next year's camp. Oh, next year, huh? No! Sorry, sir. The fact is, our camps are very much in demand. Uh, the last person who got in this year was a Mr. Bob Slobodana Popovich. Damn that Bob Slob. Final Dobit Pop. Popovich. Damn him. We'll see you next year. You will be seeing me before next year, my friend. Yeah, Mike, it's just me and you. You don't have no Scottie Pippen, no Popeye Jones to help you out. Baby, what time are you going to be playing Michael Jordan tomorrow? Well, uh, I don't really have an official time. It's kind of like unofficially. Um, they're still working out the particulars. Well, make sure you tell us, because we want to make sure we're there. Yeah, we can't wait to watch you take Jordan to the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, laugh it up, okay? It's not gonna be so funny when I'm up in the air skying over Jordan like this. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go down to the gym and work out. What are you guys gonna do? Oh, I told you, I'm going to the spa and I'm gonna recline in a lap of luxury. No slot machines. Babe, why are you just gonna say slot machines? The words out the clear blue sky, I'm you just, just gonna saying. say that word to me? Come on, babe, that's the last thing on my mind. Why all the quarters? Huh? Spa meters? Right. Claire, I want you back in this room by Lem. That's okay. L E M B M. Lem. Okay, Dad, I'll come home right after services. All right. Where's Franklin? Uh, he's in his room waiting for the damn fools to come pick him up. All right, you guys, I gotta go. See you later. Katie, you behave for your brother, okay? Yes, Daddy. Uh, well, I'll come all the way to Vegas and wind up stuck in a room with a rotten kid. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be here in the first place. You should be back in Connecticut with your own rotten kid. So stop complaining. Fine. Watch that attitude. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye, Betty.
Do you want to watch Bambi with me? No, dear. Are you sure? Didn't you just hear me? I said, no, dear. I want to go downstairs and see the magician. But I can't stay here by myself. Oh, well, don't worry about that. I mean, we're in a big city. I'm sure we can find you a babysitter. Let's look in the phone book. Um, let's see. B, B, B. Baby dog companions. We'll come to you. Perfect. <laughs> you see Michael Jordan? Because I'm going to do this to him. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me which room Michael Jordan's in? You expect me to compromise my integrity, my job, and the health and welfare of my children, not to mention the security of the most beloved superstar who ever graced the hardwood? I can give you $300. It's right there. <laughs> Another hundred, I'll get you in a room. Two hundred, you get the private tour. For $1,000, I hold Jordan down like a Thanksgiving turkey. I turn my head, I don't know nothing, I don't see nothing. It's okay, just get me in the door. Thank you. Wow. Michael Jordan's hands touched this door. Now my hands are touching this door. His essence is seeping into my body. Oh! I can't take my tongue in my mouth. I am Michael Jordan. Mike? MJ? It's MK. Are you here? Mike, listen, there's been a, a little mistake down at the, uh, the camp. <gasps> oh! It's this jersey. It doesn't even stink. <laughs> focus, focus, Mike. Listen, Mike, I, I, I need your help. Are you in the bathroom? Mike, listen, I really want to... Lord, forgive me. Thank you. Franklin, get over here. Hello? Hey, 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 where are you on your way to? I'm off to see the damn fools. Okay, now, Franklin, Franklin, now I need you a little bit more than they do, okay? Now, Franklin, it's that black Jacob. I'm in so deep, Franklin, Michael is gonna kill me. But Mrs. Kyle can't remember my blackjack system. No, Franklin, it's too complicated. It couldn't be simpler. What's so hard about a series of logarithmic calculations based on numerical progressions rising in a finite combination of cards based on a 52-card deck? Because I have no idea what you just said. Listen to me. Listen to me good, OK? If you ever, 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 ever want to see Katie again, oh, yeah, I said it. <laughs> Say it again. If you ever want to see Katie again, then you'll help me. We have a deal, but how can I help you? I'm not even allowed in the casinos. See, I prepared for this, Franklin. <laughs> this is where my genius comes in. I have a plan. <laughs> Would you like another card? Um, hmm. What do you think, honey? Ah, oh, Rosie, you should take another hit, little lady. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. How old are you? Me, you obstreperous young rap scallion. <laughs> How old are you? Fifty. Who talks? Look, kid, you're not allowed to loiter at the casino tables. Excuse me, I've got to go to the bathroom. This old bladder ain't as strong as she used to be. <laughs> you have fourteen. Do you want to hit? I have. 14, uh, do I want to hit? Take the hit. Oh, my sweet little baby over here. This is a sweet baby. Hey, kid, I told you to keep moving. Goo goo ga ga. Get out! Goo goo gotta go. What should I do? Stay! I'll stay. 
How's Buzz? Ah! You win again. Yes, I'm hitting me, you brutes! I want my lawyer! Just as far as Coral Tundra, let's make it What would Jesus do bracelet? I mean, come on, who would do a thing like that? I mean, where are you drawing the line, huh? 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 Tony, draw it! I'm sorry. Listen, I'm angry, but I'm glad, because after tonight, I'll finally be able to rid myself of some of these seeds of evil. Great. Let's get on with this. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Can I help you folks? Hi. Are you Claire? I'm Reverend Al. Oh, well, hi. I'm Tony, and this is Claire. Oh, nice to meet you, young folks. But, uh, what happened to your clothes, son? Uh, they were actually stolen down at the Christian Hostel. Oh, I, I used to minister down at the Christian Hostel. I'm afraid lately it's a lot more hostile than Christian. <laughs> but how can I help you find young people? Uh, actually, we'd like to get married. Of course! You don't want a nice big wedding where your family and friends come and throw all that rice and money at you. Forget about the gorgeous gown and tuxedo. You want to get married in your dolphin undies, in my tiny roach-infested chapel. It'll prepare you for your tiny roach-infested apartment, where you'll raise malnourished, ignorant babies and look in the mirror at your beautiful body, stretch out and pull down and dry up. And I'm just talking about you, young man. <laughs> well, come on, let's go in the back and let's get this done. Uh, may maybe we should wait. Why do the babies have to be ignorant? <laughs> Gee, I hope I didn't say anything to scare you off. Uh, no, actually, we were just leaving. Well, uh, let me show you out. You know, I used to have a What Would Jesus Do bracelet just like yours. No kidding. Yeah, and it had my initials TJ on it, just like yours. Well, this one stands for, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you so much. For my next trick, I'd like to perform an illusion originally made famous by the great Harry Houdini, the Tomb of Teleportation. And for that, I'll need an audience volunteer, please. Ooh, ooh, me, pick me. I want to go into the Tomb of Teleportation. Very well, the big-headed young man in the back. That's, that's me, that's me. Yes, and your name is? Junior Kyle. Junior, where are you from? Stanford, Connecticut. Well, that's boring. Get in the box. <laughs> I will now teleport this man back to a time and place of his choosing. Young man, where in time would you like to visit? Any time, any place in all of history. Any time and any place? Let your imagination run wild. Okay, I want to go back. Yes. Back. Uh-huh. Back. Here we go. All the way back to the 130 buffet. No, wait, one o'clock. That's before they ran out of shrimp. Very well. I will now ignore Junior's request to be teleported back to lunch. Instead, I will send him back to the Stone Age where perhaps he will meet somebody as smart as himself. <laughs> yes. And it's seem, 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 salabim. Send Junior back through the timeless sea. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Perhaps we should bring him back before he gets eaten by a dinosaur? All right. Here we go. Junior, come on up. All right, for my next trick, pick a card, any card. I'm so happy. I'm sad. Me too. Hey, Katie, baby, I'm home. Hey, home. Oh. oh. You must be Mrs. Kyle. This is Bambi. 
Bambi? Yes, your son hired me. <laughs> to watch Katie. What kind of fool? <laughs> and he said he wanted to go to the magic show. Oh, I'm gonna show him some magic, all right? I'm gonna make my foot disappear. Katie, baby, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. We watched Bambi three times. Uh, parts of it are sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. But for me, it's personal. Because my mother was shot by a hunter. Yeah, look, uh, thank you for babysitting my daughter and everything. Uh, how much do I owe you, please? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, three happy endings, two pony rides, and one ring around the rosy. I'm happy. $900. $900? <laughs> All right, Franklin. Everything should be fine. Just stay out of the casino. Thanks, Bob. Hey, that was great the way you twisted the meaning of Section 29 of the Penal Code. You taught me that trick, Franklin. I did, didn't I? Well, anyway, thanks again, Bob. Don't mention it. I owe you one, pal. You know, if it wasn't for your late-night tutoring sessions, I never would have gotten you-know-who off. <laughs> Hello. Can I help you folks? Yes. We're looking for our son. Dumb, big head, Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah, that's, that's him. him. Have you seen him? Yes, actually, I, uh, I made him disappear. Well, I need you to bring him back so I can beat his behind. Yeah, that, that's the problem. I can't figure out how to get him back. There's a malfunction in the illusion. Perhaps I can help. Yeah, you know about illusions? I'm actually seven feet tall. How do you do it? Mirrors? No black top. The truth is, I have quite a bit of experience with prestidigitation. Honey, watch your mouth. It means magic, my dove. <laughs> I once performed the floating man illusion for the queen. Elizabeth? No, Latifah. <laughs> but that's another story. Allow me to cogitate. Oh, he's good at this. Which direction did you spin the box to make him disappear? Counterclockwise. Fear not. <laughs> now, spin it clockwise. Keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. Stop! Right there. All right! Oh! Get out of this for a second! Run for your life! How did you do that? Without giving away the secrets of the illusion, Junior's head was so big that it got lodged in the mechanism. Oh, I was so scared back there. You think you were scared? Wait till I get you back to the room. What did I do? Why don't you tell us about Bambi the hooker? <laughs> and how you plan on paying her $900, Junior. $900? Yeah, yeah, $900. Wow, that's a lot. But $900, I sure hope she did a Little Miss Muffet, a couple of Humpty Dumpties, and a cow jumped over the moon. Yeah. Hey, with that kind of money. You gotta get two hay diddle diddles, one rumple still skin, a rub a dub dub, and three men in a tub. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs>
let me just play. I got the special move. Wait, what do you want to play to? Play to ten. All right, I got the ball first. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> I got the ball first. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? Drop the ball. Oh. What? Right. <laughs> Do it with your eyes closed, and I'm impressed. Two. I wasn't playing deep. Okay. I wasn't playing deep. Yeah, that's, that's that Joe Dumar D. Look at that ball. <laughs> Lucky eight shots. <laughs> Is someone tired? No. Okay. Fade away. Oh. oh. She got defense. Yeah. All fit. All defense. Oh, Camp. Why? Why? Because my secret move didn't even work on you. So you're gonna quit? Yeah. If you quit right now, you're gonna quit in life. Come on, don't quit. Just try harder. I just wanted one bucket. I'm sorry, Bob. Uh, what's your name again? It's Mike. Just like yours. <laughs> Everybody wants to be like Mike. Good luck, kid. <laughs> I'll never wash it. Yeah, maybe I should wash it again. <laughs> Headed to the airport, Dad. Okay, son. Have a good flight. You okay, Dad? Yeah, I'm great. No, you're taking this very well. It's just a game, huh? And look, I won a trophy. Came in second to last. <laughs> That's 23rd place. That's his favorite number. Wow, Dad. That'll make a great keychain. <laughs> yeah, so I saw you talking to Jordan afterwards. What did he say? No, nothing. He was just complimenting me on how good I play. You know, my aggressiveness. He wanted me to teach him the spin move. <laughs> uh, you know, he'll take that and he'll patent it and call the shoe the, the spinner. Yeah. What about you, son? Have you made any decisions yet? Or are you still thinking about quitting fatherhood? Uh, I'm still scared, Dad. The whole reason why I came to Las Vegas was I didn't want to see the baby get his shots. I couldn't stand to hear him crying. You know, I don't know if I can do this father thing. Of course you can, because you're my son. And in your heart, you're a true champion. And champions don't quit. See, if you quit now, you're going to quit in life. And quitters never win. See, you got to be able to lose in order to win. So just don't quit. That was beautiful, Dad. I can't quit now. If I quit now, then I'll always be a loser. So I need to focus on winning and the important stuff like loving Vanessa and, and loving my son. Hello, son. How's daddy's boy? How's daddy's boy doing? Do you... Look, you are heading in the right direction, son. Okay? You have your brass ring now. Speaking of rings, look at that. Bam! <laughs> wow, where did you get that? 
Uh, Michael Jordan gave it to me. <laughs> he just gave it to you? Yep, because I was determined, and I didn't quit. And I gave him $15,000. <laughs> wow, when you die, can I have that? You don't mind digging. <laughs> I don't, Dad. Thank you. Love you, Dad. I love you too. Hey, Dad. Hmm. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Everybody want to be like Mike. <laughs> You rich? Artists. That's traveling. So that's traveling. No, that's traveling. Traveling. Traveling, no. you know what traveling is? No. Traveling. <laughs> there ain't no refs out here. I'm a ref. It's my camp, dude. <laughs> you reach and I drip the ball. Uh. Oh! Oh! Uh. oh. You didn't know about that. No. You didn't know about that. Oh. Take some of that. <laughs>